gosh, it's over. Um, so at like 4.20, I started pushing for the first time and then the doctor had to leave and they came back like 10 minutes later. Um, and I pushed for like 30 minutes and then they had to leave, I think I already said this maybe, to deliver a C-section baby. So it was like an hour and a half wait from five-ish to 6.30-ish um, for them to come back to me. So I was just kind of like laying there and trying to progress or labor down without pushing. And then from 6.30 until 8.05, I was pushing and I am so proud of myself. I was able to get him out. He weighs 10 pounds, 12 ounces. He's 23 inches long, ginormous, bigger than Aubrey was. Um, so I just feel so blessed and I really appreciate your guys' prayers. I'm so relieved that he's out. Um, I have like a second degree tear and then some other issues down there. Uh, I have hemorrhoids apparently, so I'll have to be dealing with that. Sorry for the TMI. Um, Jack is nursing pretty well. Uh, I was able to hold him for like the first hour and he was nursing well, so I'm just very, very blessed. Okay, so it's 12.21 a.m. Juan is stealing my uh, my graham crackers. Um, so, let me see what has happened so far. I have tried to feed him. I don't know if I mentioned that since the last time. He was doing pretty well, but it's just really uncomfortable for me to, like, sit up. And I'm very achy down there. Um... And so that is, you know, definitely a new experience for me. His sugar level was okay the first time they took it. They tried to take it again now and it wasn't too high. So that's, you know, a disappointment. Hopefully things will just even out. Um, but I just tried to feed him. We gave him some like glucose to help with the sugar stuff. And um, I was able to get up and use the restroom but now I'm going to try to sleep for like an hour or two before we try to feed again and change his diaper and check his levels and stuff like that. So that's where we're at right now. Um, we have to be here at least 24 hours post delivery, but we may end up going home on Sunday and we checked in on Friday. So Juan is ready for bed <laughs> and so am I definitely. So I will check in as soon as I can give you guys a little bit more updates. Thank you, thank you again for all your prayers. Well, good morning. It feels like an extension of the night since I only slept maybe an hour from like four to five. I had times where like, okay, I'm gonna rest. And then I just laid there and like Juan snoring away and little Jack was squeaking and I just couldn't fall asleep. And then it was like time to feed or time to do, you know, something else. But right now Juan is going to get probably some extra food for himself. I am with baby Jack, um, his little debut here. Overall, things are as expected or good. <laughs> um, I'm really sore, still bleeding obviously. Jack is luckily doing okay breastfeeding, but they have to keep testing his blood sugar. It has to be like above a 45 and the first time they tested it, it was while he was eating and it was like a 66 and so it looked really positive positive. and then it was like the next couple times they tested they had to retest and retest just to, to get it just over 45 or whatever maybe get that good blood flow and then the last time i fed him and then i also expressed milk and gave it to him like on a spoon so he got like a good feed and they still had to test twice, but the levels was like in the 50s. So I was like, okay, that's good. So I think we just need one more test. That's like a good number. And then we'll be, we'll be good. But this last feeding, he didn't want to feed at first. I gave him just a little bit of expressed milk. And then he nursed, but who knows how much he got. So we'll see how he's doing. I really don't want to have to have extra issues. I don't want to have to use formula if I don't, you know, have to. 
but I think he looks a lot like his sister did when when she was a baby. He's very hairy. <laughs> and so was Aubrey, and I know that it goes away, but it's just kind of funny. It's like he's our little werewolf. But yeah, it's cute. I'm glad he has a full head of hair. To me, that's really fun. And I am I can't believe I pushed him out. I can't. I think this is the biggest baby in our family so far. 10 pounds, 12 ounces. I'm I'm in shock that I was able to get him out of me um, and not surprised that I tore because of it. But I don't know if we're going to go home tonight. I'm really sick of this like IV thingy in my wrist right here. It's so uncomfortable. It makes like moving around and doing stuff frustrating for me. So it's like I'd, I'd like to stay at the hospital just in case we need extra help with something um, or if something goes wrong, but at the same time, I just kind of want to go home. So I don't know when exactly we're going home. Maybe tonight, most definitely, hopefully tomorrow. So anyways, uh, that is the update for now. Uh, it is 8.30 in the morning, so... We got a long day ahead of us. I'm gonna try to relax. I don't know if I'll be able to fall asleep, but now would be a good time for me to sleep, I guess. So it might be worth trying to sleep while he gets to snuggle. Let me show you him. I think it's also worth mentioning that baby Jack has already like peed two or three times and had his first poop, which is exciting. They wanted like one pee, one poop in the first 24 hours. So at least that part of him is, you know, working well. So I'm excited about that. And I will jump on here and give you guys another update if anything major happens or just to kind of give you an idea of what our day's looking like. So another quick update, it is now five to nine and baby Jack, shortly after I finished filming the last little um, update, baby Jack was tested for his hearing and he passed. So happy about that. Um, glad the little guy can hear, but now it'll only hurt even more when I'm like, Jack, Jack. And then he has no response. That's the only downside but I'll check in in a little bit. Hey guys, so it's 4 p.m. I've probably slept a total of two hours <laughs> since Jack was born. I'm just having a hard time falling asleep uh, when I do get a chance. So maybe for those of you guys who fall asleep quicker than I do, you could have squeezed in four to six hours of sleep throughout the day. But Jack's doing pretty well. I don't know if I mentioned, but he passed his hearing test. I think I said that already. He's nursing pretty well. I know that I mentioned before we were dealing with blood sugar, you know, issues. And um, the last test that they had was like a really good score. So I think they're done drawing his blood and taking his test. If it was lower, they just said you've got to feed him more often. So... Um, one thing that I'm trying to do is express some of the colostrum and maybe give it to him a little bit before feeding time so that it kind of wakes him up so that he's more awake to actually feed. And they've been telling us that big babies are just lazy because they've got it good for nine months. And, you know, now it's like they have to work for their food. So uh, apparently he's just a little bit lazy. So... Overall though, I'm, I'm pleased with how he's nursing and it's a much better experience than it was with Aubrey. Hopefully when we go home, it'll still be good and he'll continue to thrive and do well. We're probably gonna have a doctor's appointment Monday or Tuesday, today's Saturday. So we'll see how that goes. We might end up going and seeing the same um, lady who checked on him today. And so that'll be, nice to have it be kind of consistent but right now jack is wide-eyed and just kind of looking over and i'm gonna see if i can rest a little bit and then it will be dinner time actually we can order dinner right now so we've been um or i've been getting meals the hospital we're at gives like a complimentary um like congratulatory meal for both of us so juan and i enjoyed lunch together you know but He's going to be on his own for dinner 
so he might run somewhere or get something so that's where we're at uh, assuming Jack does well with all of his tests and stuff later tonight will probably be discharged tonight so I'm I have mixed feelings about leaving tonight and I have mixed feelings about you know staying another day uh, most of the stuff is like I'm on my own in taking care of changing the like my pads and stuff like that so it's like what difference would that make if I had to be at my house and then you know here it's like if obviously if I have a question about Jack I can call the nurse and ask so maybe I'd get an extra eight hours of having someone really nearby to ask questions but overall I mean I think he's doing well so that's kind of my reasoning for wanting just to go home and just be comfortable and I don't know not deal with all the hospital stuff so I don't know how long for other moms who've been in the same position how long do you usually stay for me this is kind of a first time experience I'm not used to having the baby with me right away I'm used to having you know a baby in the NICU and me just having to pump and just take care of myself and so this is this is definitely new, having to really be taking care of the baby from pretty much the moment they left my body. Anyways, let me know your guys' experiences down below in the comments. But I'm going to try, try to get some rest, and then I'll check in, hopefully at least one more time before we leave. So Juan and I ate dinner. I was able to jump in the shower, get my new, my, my old new nursing cami on, and he's going to get it back. Oh. hair this long <laughs> for the newborns. Yeah, we do have a lot of bald ones. I mean, I guess you would use the brush probably even if they're bald because it exactly. helps. Well, it gets, get if, any, if there's any blood clots or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Let me fix it. Here's my little stud, nice and clean and brushed, peeking with one eye. <laughs> It'll be so fun to see his hair kind of fluff up. I remember Aubrey's was super fluffy when we washed it. end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.